Hey guys, welcome to back to my channel. Here I am just using a felt tip eyebrow pen and I'm just mapping out my brows before I went in with my brow gel. Now I'm just taking my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I'm using this as my eyeshadow base for all my eyeshadow to sit on. I've just taken my Beauty Blender now and I'm just blending this out all over the eyelid, the crease area up to the brow bone, right up to the brow. It helps carve out the brows as well. Now I'm just taking a light cream neutral tone and just setting that camo concealer so that way there's no creasing when I go to apply the colour shadows. Here I am taking a bronze um, orange, like a burnt orange, and I'm just blending this in the outer corner to the crease, in the inner corner to the crease to create the halo effect. Now I'm just taking a gold yellow shimmer shadow and I'm just putting this all in the blank space on the eyelid. This is what a definition of a halo eye is. I'm now just taking my W7 eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and I'm just doing a long elegated wing, standard wing, just to accentuate the eyes. Here I am just applying a gripping primer. I don't feel like this primer does its job. I've been using it a few times and it's definitely not tacky at all. It slides around. It's more like a moisturizer to be honest. Here I am taking my Flower Beauty foundation and I'm just applying this all over down to the neck so everything blends really well. This is one of my favorite foundations um, it's very lightweight um, very nourishing to the skin I'm now just applying my hydrating camo concealer under the eyes and then I just use a beauty sponge as you'll see in the next clip um, just to blend that out and with the excess on it, I just do it wherever else needs highlighting. I'm just taking my Colorco's Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just lightly setting the face all over. I tend to just like to have it lightly set so that way it's not cakey.
Here I am just taking my Physician's Formula Bronzer and I'm just applying this where I want a bit of warmth brought back to the face as well as it's sort of a good contour sort of colour for me so I enjoy using it. I'm just now going in with my NYX blush and this is sort of an ombre blush so it goes from like a really deep um, blush colour up to a highlight colour so it helps blend it all nicely together. I'm just taking my Jaclyn Hill quad highlighter palette and I'm just using the sort of rosy and the gold shade to give me a lot of highlight of working my face. I'm taking this purple lipstick. I can't remember who it's by but yes it doesn't go together because it's a gold and like bronzy sort of eye look but it's different so that's all that matters. Here I am just applying a setting spray mist um, just to lock everything in place. This is the Ole Refreshing Mist I think it's called. Uh, I absolutely love this. I'm just applying my mascara. This is the pink tube from L'Oreal or Maybelline. One of those two. Um, it's by far one of my favourite mascaras of all time. There you have it guys, this is the final look, let me know what you guys think, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye!